We're going to do column multiplication today, but we need just a quick idea first, something that you did earlier, which was using your times tables facts to be able to calculate bigger things. So, for example, if you had 6 times 40, you saw, well, it's the same as 6 times 4, which is 24, but because it's 40, you have to have a multi multiplied by 10, you put an extra zero on the end. So similarly, 6 times 30, well, you can just use your fact, 6 times 3 is 18, but you've got to multiply by 30, not just 3, so you put another 0 on the end. Or if you had 4 times 200, it's the same as 4 times 2, and then multiplied by 100. In other words, 4 times 2 is 8, and then multiplying by the 100, we'll put two zeros on the end. Um, or if you had to do, say, 4 times 3, 100, it's going to be 4 times 3, which is 12, and then you add on the two zeros because it was actually 300. Okay, so we're going to use those ideas when we do column multiplication. Because when we say 386 times 421, well, what's 421? 421 is 400 and 20 and 1. So when we have to multiply 386 by 421, it means we have to multiply 386 by 1, and we also have to multiply it by 20, which means we can just multiply it by 2 and add a 0, right? And we also have to multiply it by 400, which means we can just multiply it by 4 and add two zeros. We'll do that all in our column method. Let's see how it works out. 386 multiplied by 421. We start from the right again, and we say 1 times 6, that is 6. Then we say 1 times 8, that's 8. And then we say 1 times 3, that is 3. Then we move on. We've now got to multiply here by this. But this 2 is not just a 2, right? Remember, it's 421. So we're multiplying by 20. So what we need to do is we put down the 0 at the end, and then we can just multiply by 2. So we can say 2 times 6, that gives me 12. So we put down the 2, and we carry the 1. Then we say 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1, that gives me 17. Put down the 7, carry the 1. Then I say 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, that gives me 7. So I've got that bit done. I've now multiplied through by the 20. I then have to move on to this, but remember this is not just a 4, it's a 400. So I need to multiply this by 400. Well, the easy way to do that is to put the two zeros at the end, and then I can just multiply by 4. So that'll go. 4 times 6 is 24. Put down the 4, carry the 2. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 is 34. So I will put down the 4, and I will carry the 3. And then I say 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So I get 15 here. And now I need to carefully add those all together. 6 plus 0 plus 0, that gives me 6. 8 plus 2 gives me 10, so I put down a 0 and I carry the 1. Then here I'll say 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 7 is 11, plus 4 is 15, so I'll put down the 5 and I'll carry the 1. And then here 7 and 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, put down the 2, carry the 1, and then I'll have 5 and 1 makes 6, and then that 1 and nothing give me 1. So my answer to this is 162,506. Right, let's just check you've got it. Try and do 23 times 56 in your homework books. Pause the video now and try. Okay, let's line it up. We get 23 multiplied by 56. We start from the right. 6 times 3 is 18. Put down the 8, carry the 1. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 1 gives me 13. 
Then, because I'm now multiplying by 50, I put down a zero and I can just multiply by five. Five times three gives me 15, put down the five, carry the one. Five times two is 10, plus one gives me 11. And now I just need to add up. Eight and zero is eight, three and five is eight, one and one is two, and one and zero is one. And so my answer is 1,288. Eight.